Shalom Akim. I want to start by giving all praises to the Most High and the Son, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, a great millstone, and honors to you brothers out there that are fighting for the truth. And I just had a quick video today, a quick response rather. It's not going to be anything too long or drawn out, but I'm just going to take a look at what these guys are saying in this video because once again, you know, IUIC running their mouth, and you had, I don't know who the person is or the brother is that came up to confront them but uh, I'm not sure exactly what camp he's from if he is with the camp he had a garment on him at one point so but of course they get into the mark of the beast alright that topic keeps coming week in and week out and it's a simple topic alright but we're gonna just take a look at what they say alright and it's something that has been said before and then we're gonna look at the mark of the beast in scripture in Revelation 13 and 16 on down and just read read it point by point in the heat in the Greek that is <clears throat> and show you that what they're saying here in this part of the clip we're about to watch is completely off alright the same old propaganda nonsense that Nate that pushed out to all his camps and is pushing out on his congregation alright clowns fool blindly and foolishly believe it alright so without any more delay let's watch that ain't the mark of the beast. The sick, that, that chip is not the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is an embargo. Yeah, the mark of the beast is an embargo. Because I'm going to ask you something right now. When are they start, how they start implementing on our chip? How they start, yeah, go to Revelations. Go to Revelations chapter 13. And we're going to show you that. Read what you got. Uh, chapter 13. Uh, no, nah, chapter 15, bro. Now nah, it ain't gonna be no tattoo, bro. It ain't gonna be the, that ain't the, the chip at the mark of the beast. But no, you know what embargo is when you put a sanction on the country that you can't do what? If America put a embargo on China today, what China can't do? Yeah, it, okay, and what they can't do? Now, nah, you know, first off, America would not be so foolish and bold as to put an embargo on the country whom they owe, my, owe all their debt to. All right. And second, even if you put an embargo on a country, the people within that country can still buy and sell amongst each other. So that's strike one. They can't buy and sell with America. They can't buy and sell with America. America is the biggest trade out here, bro. Let me show you a card to the Bible. I'm going to show you what the Bible says. Hey, I don't know. Now, this guy who's reading for him to his right can't even find where the mark of the beast scripture is but these guys are supposed to be the leaders and teachers of our nation come on but I know they own a lot of real estate though they've been buying up plenty of real estate but let me show you this bro let me show you this uh hey hey uh Officer Gabriel hey what a thing with the mark of the beast at chapter what 13 by 15 now this dude is supposed to be he's speaking now to show you how embarrassing that is this is not to call the scriptures basic, but this is a scripture that you hear about when you're first coming into the church. This is one of those scriptures, Ju uh, Jeremiah 14 and 2, Amos 9 and 8, <clears throat> all right? Matthew 10, 5 and 6, Daniel's uh, 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 7, and, 7 and 9, 7 and 5, <clears throat> all right? This is one of those scriptures, Isaiah 45 and 7, all right? A very heavy and important scripture. However, this is one of those scriptures that you hear about. The fact that this dude on speaker had to turn to an officer to ask where a very well-known scripture is in the Bible should be a sign of utter embarrassment, all right, of this IUIC Memphis camp, all right? Nate should have called this dude on the phone and rebuked him after this, after this video went up. Come on. It's just like this clown, uh, 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 the Deacon Asaph. He's going to have the nerve to get on in front of his congregation while they're teaching and ask. He's going to say, have you ever seen a person with their arms amputated? And then he's going to have the nerve to ask, how are they going to get the chip? And they'd have to correct him. <laughs> Come on, man. You dudes are getting weaker and weaker every day. It's all about appearance with you, but let's keep going. Ah, uh, yeah, 13 verse 15. Let me show you something, bro. Listen to this. Revelations chapter 13 verse 15 and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship them 
The image of the beast should be killed. This dude can barely read. Should be killed. And he and he calls it. And he calls it. Oh, excuse me. He calls it both small, small nations, small nations, weak, rich, and poor, great nations. Hold on, read it slow, bro. Listen. He's down. Listen, bro. He's talking about nations. You ain't listening. Listen, bro. Read, read again. Verse 16. It ain't gonna, nobody ain't gonna have to take the chip, bro. Ain't nobody ain't gonna have to take the chip. All right, listen to it. Is it gonna say chip or Is it gonna say chip? No, it ain't gonna say chip. That's stupid logic because if you guys actually go and watch this video, you know, you can see what, the, what it's titled here. All right, so you can type it in and go look look at the video yourself. But I sat up and watched the whole video. This dude mentions missiles. He mentions, he, sa he says, the, the brother right here that's confronting him, he says, You got a nuclear missile or a nuclear bomb with your name on it. He says that. Where did he get that from? Come on. But then he's going to ask this man, well, does it say chip right there? Of course it doesn't say chip. Of course. But where do you get nuclear missiles and nuclear bombs from in the scriptures? All right? If you you, you got to apply the same logic, don't you? If you know that according to scriptures there are going to be nuclear bombs and missiles hitting America, then according to scripture that there will be a microchip or a, an implantable device that the elites plan to use to further govern the society so that no man or woman or child might buy or sell not nations you idiot yeah, bro. Hold on. Listen to this, bro. and there's something about look I'm from the south I'm from Texas all right I'm from deep in the south but there's something about a down south dude that's just when you when 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 you get stupid you just get stupid all right you just listen to how foolish this dude sounds I mean, you had to call and ask for what revelation 13 16 was come on and he calls it all both small small nations and great nations we rich rich nations and poor and poor nations we free free nations and bar and bar nations which is the third world countries we that's right to receive a mark to receive what a mark we wait a minute so-called third world countries let's throw a couple in there Afghanistan Let's just throw Afghanistan in there. I want Kuwait, Saudi Arabia. Let's throw those in there. You really think they're going to readily accept those countries and as a whole are going to accept this mark of the beast system? If, if it's nations, they're going to be forced to accept this, this uh, 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 an, uh, an embargo. All right? Come on. How, however the heck you put it. It don't make no damn sense. In their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark. Now let's see what the mark is. Now, it said there at the end of the verse, no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. It didn't say nation. Where, I mean, and nobody watching except there's there's one guy who ain't really saying much other than to let this guy speak on the mic. But other than that, there's nobody saying, now wait a minute, you said it says nations, but there it says man. Nobody's speaking up. The mark is in Bago. Are you GMA? No, look at that. You now you notice that? Let me go let me go back a little bit. He says we're gonna see what this mark is. Listen to it again. He had the mark. Now let's see what the mark is. The mark is in Bago. Now you see how they always did see how they cut it? He says, now let's see what the mark is. The mark is an embargo. And it cuts right to him asking if this brother here is GMS. And then he starts... And now, before we get to the lesson, let's just show you an example of how they slander G uh, us. All right? And then we'll get straight to the lesson. Are you GMS? <laughs> see, hey, I did look. Hey, see, I don't look. Now we know he's GMS right here. See, now this is scoffer right here right now. These brothers sit up here. That's all they do. They come out there. Every time we come out teaching our people, here come GMS. Here come, y'all know they teach that you can rape babies. You know they teach that, 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 that. These brothers teach that you can rape babies. Now, anybody watch, not just GMS brothers and people, brothers who follow GMS, anybody, amongst IUISC, anybody, when have we ever said that? 
I want you to give me an account where we ever said you don't got to give me an exact date or time just give me an example point me to a video where we said you can rape babies come on alright but that's not even part of the lesson so now let's go to Revelation 13 okay this is Revelation 13 verse 16 it says and he causes all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or their foreheads that no man might buy or sell damn Satan save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so let's click this and scroll and we're gonna take a look at each Greek word it's going to be two or three Greek words. All right. Now we're going to go down to where it says, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand. All right. So let's click G1188. And it says here, let's see if I get the audio to play. Strong's G1188. Dexias. 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 The right hand, or the right, the right hand. Metaphor, a place of honor and authority. Now, they might jump on that and say, oh, look, it's a metaphor for a place of honor and authority. But it's still referring to the actual right hand because when you look at, for example, all right, it says to the right at the first definition. When you look, at when Stephen when he was when he was being stoned to death, all right, and he looked up in the sky and what did he see? He said he saw Yahweh Shai sitting at the right hand of the Most High, all right. Most church most churches I know my church in particular when when I was in the world the church I went to they had what you call the right hand of fellowship and they literally shake you your right hand. It's not talking about a uh, 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 something um figuratively speaking it's not an embargo they're literally going to plant this microchip technology in your right hand or in your forehead which really means behind your head leading into brain implants and believe you me when you actually do some research unlike you clowns at IUIC Esau the wicked is delving into that deep into that technology alright now let's go here scroll down a bit and it says here foreheads so this is Greek or G 3359 right click that let's hear this audio Strong's G 3359 Metopon 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 it says here the space between the eyes the forehead okay space between the eyes that's uh, what's, what, what's right when they say they're gonna shoot in an old saying, shoot them right between the eyes. All right, they're gonna put they're gonna put that technology and they plant it in your brain. All right, brain implants. So it's not talking about an embargo. How do you get an embargo from when it says? And let me read the next verse. When it says, "And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast." or the number of the name so how do you get entire nations out of no man and he that doesn't make any sense but of course nothing can make sense coming from a guy like this who can't even offhand off the top of his dome recall where the mark of the beast is in the holy bible All right. So, I mean, how could you take anything this guy has to say seriously? And if you watch the video, this guy just sounds like an old, down south, retarded coon. End the story. Alright? So you can show me in the scriptures how this is an embargo. And again, this has been covered plenty of times. Alright? But until you can show, any of you guys can show us how this is an embargo on nations, just shut up. To the brothers, Shalom.